This um, is the uh, is Weston's Pro 2300. It's uh, been called the Cabela's machine. It's private labeled under a variety of different names. Um, this one happens to be a 2300 instead of a 2100, and I know it looks white, but um, I did pull the plastic off the front here, and it is a mirrored finish, so I wanted to keep this thing looking nice, so it is still has the white plastic on it, um, but it is a 2300 instead of a 2100. The only difference is whether or not you have stainless steel or a white powder coating, so minor matter. Um, these machines do feature a dual piston pump, so there's a lot of talk about these machines pulling down to a 28 HD vacuum, where it's, and it's very true that if you hooked a vacuum gauge to the jar sealer port here, it is going to pull a 28 HD vacuum. A dual piston pump will do that. The biggest challenge you have in all suction style machines is the bigger the channel that you have in this particular situation, the more pressure you get in between the bumper and the heat seal bar, the bigger your pump has to be to get some air out of the bag because it's biting the bag so hard in between the bumper and the heat seal bar. So this machine actually doesn't pull quite as much vacuum out of the bag as it's rated for. I don't know if that really made a lot of sense, but just to give you an idea, if we put a bag in here, start the machine, and let it evacuate that bag, heat seal bar runs, shuts itself off, opens up, and gives you a nice wide heat seal, and it gives you a bag that's pretty tightly packed. Now, I want to show you what I'd like to do is put the bag inside here, and what we're going to try and see is when this bag actually expands. So what we're going to watch is this gauge, and the next thing we're going to do is close this lid, and the idea here is that these machines actually evacuate the chamber. So we're going to try and show you that this bag is going to expand when the atmospheric pressure is equalized between the inside of this bag and the chamber. So let's see if this will give us an idea. Let me check the vacuum level up here. So we're going to run this machine for about 31 seconds, which should be plenty. But what we're watching is this gauge. And keep in mind, all the way around is a full atmosphere. So let's take a look. So right now, we're running about 20 HDs. And we've already started to expand it here. And that was probably around 25. But after that, that bag's still really pretty full of air. Get the idea? Did I explain myself well enough? Let's turn this off. 